All right, this is going to be a review for uh, New Japan. Uh, it's the new beginning, plus uh, New Japanism, plus a match from another show. Uh, I was really into New Japan around this time. I was going to build it up, so I reviewed everything going into the new beginning, and I would like, review it like early March, late February. Uh, then it took forever to come out, like two months later. And I'm like, holy shit, I almost forgot about it. Just you know, almost there was a little this close to the beginning. And I'm like, oh wait, I put so much time into like, like I wanted this to happen so bad and then it didn't. So yeah, I'll get to that. First, I obviously have to get to uh, uh, Larry Sweeney. Um, this is the, just, um, yeah, I'm way too young. Uh, Unfortunately, we're sort of used to this with professional wrestling. It's not just, I don't know. Uh, we all, obviously, it's showing that we all love Larry Sweeney. Everyone who knew him. Everyone who knew him personally, obviously loved him. Everyone who was a fan, obviously, loved to hate him. Um, just, you know, that was his job. I mean, his job wasn't to get fans to cheer for him. If they did, he'd be like, shut up, you bum, or something like that. And they would boom him. He was good. Uh, there's a few guys that get heat, like Sweeney got. Uh, William Regal's one of them. Uh, yeah, he didn't get credit for that, though. Um, yeah, the sweet and sour Larry Sweeney, 12 Large Brother, just really good. Uh, I don't know, I just, when he started in Ring of Honor, that's when I started watching often. So, yeah, I, I followed like every single thing he was involved in. Uh, his promos were all great. His outside things, just like if it's kicking around Bobby Dempsey, doing whatever, just, oh, his laugh, everything. He was so great. He was Keenan esque, but in a totally original way. Uh, he's better than Cornette, uh, honestly, better than Cornette. Uh, I mean, I don't know if he was better at getting Keith, but he was better. He was more entertaining. He was more talented than Jim Cornette, and he could actually wrestle, so kind of ends the argument there. All right, so the second greatest manager of all time, I'd like to say, uh, like, uh, I want to thank him for all the stuff he did. And to any of his personal friends or fans that met him, uh, they might, uh, yeah, they can't feel good. Um, that shook me. The edge thing didn't really register until I watched the promo. So Sweeney, just hearing about hearing about the death, just overwhelmed anything I could feel about Edge for a while. So yeah, uh, Larry Sweeney just. Great wrestler, uh, okay, good wrestler, <laughs> great manager. Uh, Edge, now we gotta talk about, I mean, what, like he had a great career. Um, WWE, basically, he, I'm not saying he was chicken shit, but I'm saying he took WWE's chicken shit and turned it into chicken salad. If you watch The Ultimate Fighter, I love chicken salad, it's a reference. I use it as a hashtag on Twitter sometimes. <clears throat> I don't know. So Edge turned chicken shit to chicken salad, basically. Little Edge and Christian, like, I mean, WWE, like, gave them time to roam with that stuff. But on the radar superstar stuff, Edge had to make himself get over. They even took the belt off him when he was doing so well. It's like, I don't know, yeah, he's pulling in millions of years and stuff. Yeah, Cena should have been chasing for the belt, like, all fucking year. He shouldn't have won it right away. I'm sure WWE, somebody must realize they did that wrong. Uh, I don't know. They're not wrestling anymore, so maybe Edge's wrestling ability turned them off. Uh, like, Cena's got a little bit of wrestling ability. Uh, he's got a lot of personality. Let's push him instead. Whatever. Edge is better on the mic, better in the ring. Uh, he's Canadian, obviously. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, just. Edge had a great career. He had a great send off. Um, I mean, I agree with him retiring. He shouldn't go any longer. 
it's not good for his body, and you want to be remembered as the guy left on top, the guy can still go. You don't want to be remembered as Hulk Hogan, brother. Okay, so Edge, great wrestler, good guy, just, yeah, he'll be missed in the ring. I'm sure he'll be back, but not wrestling. Yeah, just can't really get over the Larry Sweeney thing. That's, 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 that's not good, man. Just, like, his friends, like, I wonder what they're going through, like, man, that, that hit me hard. Uh, Alright, so, uh, we gotta get to the fun stuff now. <laughs> you know, we should have done this after, or? Sad stuff. Alright, uh, this is New Japan-ism 2011, and Hall, Tokyo, uh, 12,005 spectators. Well, it's not a bad crowd. Kurgan Hall's not huge, so. Alright, uh, we had in the opener Jushin Thunder Liger, Kanamoto Koji, and Tiger Mask versus Jado Gato and Ishii. Uh, yeah, it was a fairly standard six man opener, but he had built a mask versus uh, Mask, uh, Tiger Mask, four, and Ishii. Um, just, yeah. Uh, I'd rather not give this a rating, but it accomplished something. Alright, then we had. Uh, and Giant Bernard, Carl Anderson, and Taman Tonga versus Nakanishi Manapu, Strongman, and King Fully. Uh, it's like 62%, really solid match. Uh, yeah, it was clear early on who the superior team was. That's, yeah, bad intentions team. Uh, and Strongman can hardly move, uh, forget about wrestling, bench presses and stuff. Uh, yeah, just but having said that, it's a very entertaining match. Um, yeah, made me want to see Strongman and Nakanishi beat up even more. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I like Tonga. He's good. He's a good young guy. He gets the crowd into it. He's a really good wrestler. But I I don't know why people give Fali praise. I mean, Tonga is like three, four times older than his hand. He's a lot more entertaining, and uh, people say like. Oh, Feliz not on the light to show his skill yet. He's a, he's a young guy. So, um, he's been in long enough because Tom is showing his shit, and it's a lot better, a lot quicker. He's in better shape. He has a better look. He's better looking, I'll even say. Everything about him is better. Uh, King Philly should pick up his shit or leave. All right, enough of my mini rant on an average wrestler. Okay, then we had Nakamura Shinsuke, Yano Toru, and Izuka Takashi versus Nagata Yuji, Tenzan Hiroshi, and Anoe Wataru. Uh, yeah, the word, uh, the words Warzone maybe come to mind. Uh, chaos, perhaps. This, this just sets up the uh, Survivor Series style elimination match, five, uh, four on four actually, uh, at the uh, show I'm building up to because this is just build up to the big show. Uh, this match, um. Uh, yeah, I can't, you can't really give it a rating. It was pretty insane. Um, just all over the place, lots of brawling. It's good stuff. Alright, then we have the IWGP Junior Tag Team Championships. Apollo 55, Prince Devitt, uh, also a junior champion. And Toguchi Ryusuke, uh, yeah, they, they, they faced uh, Nasawa and Taichi. And it's like 78%. It's a pretty strong match. Uh, Toguchi looks like his best ever. He looks like a guy who needs to be champion. Not right away. You got to build him up. But I think he. I would love to see Taguchi versus Devitt with Taguchi going over. Um, really good match. And uh, he, he, he got the classic. Um, it's my fucking business from Taka. So send a message to Devitt and he's a challenger for that junior title and he's going to be the one to the throne. I know. Taka's pretty badass. Uh, we'll get to that match. This is why this is part of it. And we had Tanahashi Hiroshi and Goto Hiroki versus Naito and Takahashi. Uh, wow, this is pretty great shit. Pretty good shit, anyway. Really good. Uh, Naito and Goto really go at it hard. They set up for their meeting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Takahashi is just, he's like a freak. Dead lips and all that shit. He's strong. He's like a fucking ox. Twice as strong. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see that freaky strength. Alright, uh, 
yeah, the MVPs in the match would definitely go to an item. They stand out. They stood out to it. Stand it. What the fuck is that? Uh, yeah, no doubt a good match. Alright, then we had a uh, main event, number one contenders match for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, Makabito Ii versus Kojima Satoshi, uh, 70%. This match was pretty good, uh, don't get me wrong, you know, but could have been so much better. Uh, I don't know if Makabito was hurt or what. Kojima's, Kojima's pretty awesome, especially for an old guy. Uh, all I can say is at least they have a number one contender, which is Kojima, and I can spoil that, obviously. It's happened a long time ago. And this show was just a setup show. Uh, yeah, the new beginning. Um, I got I got quite hyped after this. It was pretty good hype because everything kind of revolved around building that show. All right, uh, the good I would say is Taguchi. Uh, I, I believe he's the he could be the next uh, junior breakout star. The crowds are really getting there. With him, uh, the bad King Fali, prove yourself already. Fuck. Uh, all right, and the ugly uh, would be Taichi Taichi's tearaway pants. Um, pants or no pants, make up your mind. Come on, man. All right. Then we got a a bonus. I'll say I just watched this match alone. I didn't watch the card because this was the like one match that stood out. It's Tanahashi Hiroshi and Prince Derrick versus Kojima Satoshi and Taki Michinoku, uh, February 12, 2011. Yeah, uh, gets like 79%. Uh, Devin is even more over than Tanahashi in this match. It's pretty crazy. Uh, good reason to. I mean, like, just, just a cool shit. Get out of the crowd. At one point in the match, uh, Kojima counters. Tashi's Dragon Suplex, the Koji Cutter, just like an RKO if you're not a Japanese fan. Only rape free dropping the RKO. Uh, Tanahashi hit like a final cut, kind of a sling blade variation. Uh, just, yeah, great stuff from all the guys involved. It's the junior champion and his against his, the junior champion and the heavyweight champion against the number one contender challenges for the next show, which I'm about to review. This is New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's the new beginning. Sendai uh, Sun Plaza, Miyagi, uh, February 20th, 2011. 3,200 crazy fans. Like, good, good crowds. Like, WWE's wrestling hit crowds in this good, man. <sighs> and this is 3,200 people. This is a good crowd. Uh, yeah. First match was Tonga. Tom and Tonga versus... Takahashi Hiromu, uh, really solid opener, very basic, but not slow, not interesting, and 10 minutes too long like the Noah openers, uh, sorry Noah, it's true. Uh, this crowd is just hot, like they're really hot, Tonga is extremely over it, I don't know the like channel on with them, I can't do the noise exactly right, I'm not going with some Owen chants all the time, from drinking that, uh, yeah, just, Okay, basically, Tonga's the total package. Like, he's got the charisma, he's over with the crowd, he's got a great look, and he can wrestle. I like King Bali. Uh, yeah, Takahashi uh, showed that he was that he had a lot of fighting spirit. You can get the classic bloody nose, which happens with a lot of the younger guys. And openers from the past. Uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, you don't really give a score, it's just it's solid, good stuff. Alright, then we had Jushin Thunder Light here, Taguchi Ryusuke and Kushida, I kind of yelled it because it's all capitals, versus Jado Gato and Killer Rabbit. Um, Liger's over big time, like, Liger, Liger, like he is over. Uh, yeah, this Killer Rabbit guy, I don't know what the crowd knows to think about him, he's got the, the, the bunny ears and uh, I cannot confirm whether he actually killed someone, but uh, we'll go on. Uh, Taguchi just very over to like almost Liger over. He's improved drastically in the ring. He's more, he still does his like you know his little pose, which is funny, but he's more serious and driven, and he's less lazy than he used to be. Uh, from like a year ago, he's just three times as good. I mean, him and Eddie Edwards stand out the most. Uh, yeah, it was a quick match. Hawk Rabbit, uh, Killer Rabbit, 
by the end, I found out why he got his name. It's because he kills crafts. Uh, every time he was in there, slow, pretty much botching, funny hops, stupid shit. Not just fun, but kill a rabbit, kills crafts. Fuck him. Alright, then we got uh, Mask versus Mask. Ishii told my hero, like, black Tiger Mask, basically. Versus Tiger Mask 4, uh, and Tommy Arrow's gets black mask, and he's being a total douchebag. I was trying to rip off Tiger Mask's mask. This feud went a little too long. It should have ended at the uh, Lucha show, Lucha Fan, but it didn't. At least the right man went over it like should have before. A decent match. If, if the end were going any other way, I would have turned into shit, bro. Alright, then we got four on four elimination match, and I got a Yuji, Anoe Wataru. Tenzan Hiroshi and King Fale oh, versus Nakamura Shinsuke, Takahashi Ujiro, and Asuka Takashi. Uh, the commentator who always gets like messed up, he always gets fucked up basically by Asuka. Uh, was ready to go. He was screaming like a little girl, ready to go the whole time, and he still got caught by Asuka because he's skinny and out of shape. Uh, Zuka dragged him around like his little bitch, ripped his shirt off like he always does. Uh, Team Nagat comes out and makes the save, and we're off. You get the elimination match. Uh, elimination can occur by pinfall submission or by throwing your opponent over the top rope uh, to the floor, which is really good. Uh, King Foley is eliminated really quick because uh, he's average at best. Uh, then Tenzan eliminates Yajiro with the Justice TD. TTT. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the rule breakers just, uh, yeah, they regain the advantage now. Uh, Zuka uses his uh, metal glove to take out Tenzan, actually eliminate him with it over the ropes. Uh, Yano uses questionable tactics to eliminate uh, Anoe. And Nagata scores an inside cradle on Yano, and the, and the real action begins here. This is like the, what I wanted to see. It's time to just. Nagata and Nakamura, the wrestlers. Uh, huge back drop followed by an epic Benzu Bumai match ends after a brutal exchange and a huge Bumai. You know, uh, really crazy stuff. Uh, then we had the IWGP Tank Team Championships. Uh, this is the, the first, uh, not main event, but like, if this was a UFC, this would be like a main card fight, like top three, top four, top four fights, I'd say. IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championship, sorry, Bad Intentions, Machine Gun, <laughs> Carl Anderson, and Giant Bernard, the champions, versus Muscle Orchestra, The Juicer, Strongman, and Nakanishi Manabu, who's old but still pretty good. Uh, we get our first taste of gold this evening, obviously. Tiger Tori is the referee. Uh, I think Strongman goes to the same doctor as Scott Steiner, if you catch my drift. Alright, uh, yeah, Strongman got hurt performing a basic move, his knee went out or something, that's what happens in the years and years of steroid abuse. I mean, they work when you use them, right? But after you use them long enough, your body just starts getting injured quicker, because basically what it does is help you heal quick. Yeah, it's the opposite effect when you're old and stuff. All right, Bad Intentions really carried this match. Just really good. They uh, cut the ring in half, made the crowd really want Muscle Orchestra to win, and by the end they had the fan support. Uh, it's like seventy percent. We still have, still taking champions. Bad Intentions. The some people got me scared predicting the other outcome. Whew. Phew. Uh, then we had the IWGP Junior Tag Team Championship. Prince Devitt, the champion, Mega Over, which is Taka. It's my fucking business, which you know who. Uh, yeah, Taco is on top of his game. So is Devitt. Uh, Taka's knees. He's got some pretty brutal knees. He's changed his offense from WWF as a light and wheelie champ. Uh, yeah, just my favorite part was the, the counters and the counters to counters and Devitt's pinning and combinations. Taka's stiff kicks. It's just a great match. Uh, great exchanges. Um, yeah, 76 uh, percent. Really solid. All right, special tag, really great. A uh, special tag match. Uh, is next. Makabe Togi and 
Hanuma Tamaki versus Tai Chi and his partner, the from the 305 MVP. Bowling. Uh, this is MVP's like dream. It wasn't WWE. His dream was like working in New Japan. I hopefully he gets a match at Chono at some point. He showed that he belongs with these guys. Well, it's a McAdoo. Yeah, McAdoo. Tai Chi's alright. Home is good. Uh, I believe it'll be a one-on-one -on -one match between McAdoo and MVP by the way this match is kind of set out. Uh, yeah. And then I always take great pleasure in watching Tai Chi get fucked up, so. It's a fun match. 69%. That's my fun rating. It's not the greatest thing ever. It's just fun. Alright, special uh, singles match. Goto Hiroki and Naito Tatsuya. I knew this was going to go, but this is better than I thought. Uh, Goto doesn't even get his jacket off yet. He's kicking the shit out of this this young guy. This much smaller guy. Well, not much smaller. It's smaller. Throws him out of the ring. As soon as the bell rings, they're like in the crowd, basically. Just great shit. Uh, Goto almost wins it earlier, kicking the shit out of Naito on the outside. Uh, the crowd is so into this. Uh, they like both guys. Uh, more so Naito, because he's taking a beating, and it's the fighting spirit thing. You, wanna, you want the underdog to come back and win. Uh, yeah, they continue where they left off in the last New Japan show that I just reviewed for this. Uh, both men brought their hardest hits. The, the most devastating moves, this crazy shit. Uh, Goto has a new fire than that's for sure. He's a lot more aggressive. Uh, he needs that world title. He wants it. He needs it. Give it to him. Do it. Do it. It's a cheesy movie line. It's not even a good movie. Anyway, uh, this time it's a remake. Thing. Yeah, this match is just really intense. God. Great show of respect between both men at the end. Uh, Naito's fighting spirit is off the charts. Uh, Goto's intensity was off the charts. Just, just, just a great thing. I, I think that this is the true breakup performance of Naito. This makes Naito a good guy who can compete uh, with heavyweights, but he's not quite at that level. He became that guy to. This guy can make a run for the title soon. 2012. I would say late 2012, by the way, is. Um, before the world ends, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, Naito needs that belt after Goto. I think Goto should win it next, and then Naito should beat him a few months later. I like Naito. Alright, uh, 79%. Great match. And then we had the match of the night, which I didn't know if it would be, but I just like the way it was put together. I got the Juki Heavyweight Championship, your main event, Tanahashi Hiroshi versus Kojima Satoshi. Uh, what a fucking match. Uh, great match. Both Kojima and Tanahashi, both fantastic in the ring. Good arm work uh, by Tanahashi, good neck work by Kojima. Uh, there was a little bit of selling issue, but I don't really think so, because these guys are tough. Like, they'll push through that shit. Huge Larry out of nowhere. Well, uh, Tanahashi is set on the top rope. To the outside, just fucking the way he fell and everything, just great. God, and Kojima collapsing afterward. Uh, just do this great stuff. Some Larry's from both men. Yeah, Tanahashi too. Uh, just great, awesome shit. 82%. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, post uh, air guitar to Hendrix by <laughs> Tanahashi and me. And that's who even says Jimi Hendrix, which is cool. Uh, I may not be a doctor, but I recommend this show. Again, yeah, New Japan, uh, two decent shows. Um, you don't have to watch both of them. You've heard the build up. Watch the second one. Watch the new beginning. Uh, I'm Sean, and I endorse this wholeheartedly. National Anthem plays.